the Johnson's Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. The makers of Johnson's Wax and Johnson's new water repellent glow coat present Fibber McGee and Molly with Bill Thompson, Gail Gordon, Dick LeGrand, Cliff Arquette, and me, Harlow Wilcox. The script is by Don Quinn and Bill Leslie. Music by the King's Men and Billy Mills Orchestra, including Ken Darby's own musical setting for The Night Before Christmas. Johnson's new glow coat is now water repellent. That's the biggest development in floor care in the past 15 years. At last, there's a self-polishing floor wax that does not show ugly streaks or dull drab spots when you wipe up still things. Water, spilled ice cubes or drinks, track in mud or snow, wipe right off that hard glow coat surface. And you don't wipe off the wax when you wipe up the water. Johnson's glow coat stays on, stays bright, even after repeated damp mopping. In fact, water repellent glow coat now lasts up to four times longer. No need for frequent repolishing. More long-lasting floor protection for your money. It's the most economical self-polishing floor wax you can buy. Tomorrow, shine up your floors for the holidays. Protect them from the wear and tear they're bound to get. Save yourself work. Save yourself money. Get Johnson's new water-repellent glow coat in the regular glow coat package. No change at all in the container. Ah, but what a wonderful difference inside. <laughs> There has always been a lot of rivalry in Wistful Vista over whose house is the most beautifully decorated for Christmas. Mr. McGee of number 79 has never placed in the first 25. Until maybe this year, because here in the hardware store, laying in a supply of outdoor lighting equipment, we find that once a year exterior decorator and his wife, Fibber McGee and Molly. That'd be all, Mr. McGee. The reason I ask is, on account I think you've got everything we had in the store. <laughs> oh, let me see. Check the list over with me, bud. 900 foot of wire. Wire. Three pairs of pliers. Better make that five pairs. I keep losing them in the shrubbery. Why don't you get a dozen pairs, McGee? We could give the extra ones as Christmas presents. With a little card that says we'd like to have done something bigger for you, but we feel the pinch this year. <laughs> No, no, let's be practical, Molly. 300 assorted light bulbs. 300 light bulbs. Yeah, that's it. Sure, 300 will be enough, dearie. That'll hardly light up the country as far as Kansas City. <laughs> no, no, kid, Molly. You've got to allow for some of them burning out. I've had experience with these things. I'll bet you two bucks, kiddo, that the first person that comes to the door says, you've got the prettiest decorated house on the whole block. Well, make it six dollars. I want that one across the board. <laughs> six bucks it is. Okay, bud, we've got the bulbs, the wire, five rolls of friction tape. Four bags of nails, two cartons of holly, and five dozen assorted sockets. Sockets. Check? Well, uh, we'd prefer cash. <laughs> I mean, you check with me on the list? Oh, oh, yes. The check, Mr. McGee. Yes. <laughs> check. Hey, wait a minute. I'll need a couple of step ladders. Good stop step ladders. Well, I'll have to go out and get those, Mr. McGee. We keep the step ladders in the back room on account of shoplifters. I'll send the boy in with them. Well, <laughs> hey. McGee, for what you're spending on this project while you could hire well, three. Hello there, McGee. Hello, Mrs. Hello, oh, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. Hey, don't tell me you're buying all this electric stuff. What you going to do, McGee? Build a television station? He's <laughs> going to decorate the front of our house for Christmas, Ollie. Yeah. He seems to have it confused a little with the Pentagon building. Ah, wait till you see it, Ollie. It's going to be beautiful. You decorate your house this year? Oh, yeah, sure, but not so fancy as you, McGee. Oh? We just hung up some holly and a little piece of miserable toe. <laughs> you mean mistletoe, Ollie? To kiss all my wife's relatives under it, Mrs., it's miserable toe. <laughs> Got all your Christmas shopping done, Ollie? That's not quite, McGee. Mm -hmm. For my littlest kid, Sven... I got to get an electric train. Oh. You know, that you drop in some smoke pills, and that makes it use like a real shoe shoe. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Must be very amusing. Oh, I wasn't laughing at the train, Mrs. I, I was laughing because last year my last brother, Thor, he swallowed three of those smoke pills by mistake for a headache. 
My gosh, Ollie, what happened? Well, he yelled out toot toot and then he ran down the basement till his pockets were soft coal, shugs upstairs to the living room, and smoke coming out both ears. <laughs> the last we hear of him, they get called from the roundhouse. Uncle Thor is there asking somebody to escape his border. Yes, <laughs> I've forgotten everything now. Let's see. Wire, bulbs, pliers, tape, wires, step ladders, nails. If you overlook anything, they can send it out in two or three truckloads. Well, here comes the lad with the ladders now, so let's uh, see. Pardon me, sir, but I got a couple of flatters here. Are these yours? How's that, bud? Oh, the ladders. Oh, the step ladders. Yeah, yeah, just set them down here. Oh, whew. glad to. Yes, you must be a little tired by now. I imagine this has been a rough week for you, clerk. Oh, I don't mind the work so much, but I don't feel so good today. I got up twirly. You got up twirly? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I didn't get enough sleep getting up swirly. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you don't, bud. Like Ben Franklin used to say, twirly to bed and swirly to rise makes a man dizzy. <laughs> yeah, makes me tired, too. I like to sleep late. But this morning, I had to get a potato clock. <laughs> really? I've never seen a potato clock. Do they make them out of the whole potato or just the peel? Oh, no. no. I, I guess you didn't understand me, sir. Oh? I mean, I got up pearly this morning. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock. Oh, per oh, 8 bells. Well, well, help me get this stuff out of the car, bud, and we'll be on. All right, sir, so right away. And anytime you need anything else, just call up here and ask for Herbert Tapple. Well, thank you, Mr. Tapple. We'll... Oh, no, 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 not Tapple, ma'am. Apple. Herbert Tapple. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, bud, I'll, I'll show you where the car sparked. <laughs> you can carry the junk out. <laughs> Come on, Molly, let's go. I see, Molly, all I got to do is run this wire around the house six or seven times. That's where I was, around the back with it. <laughs> run around the house six or seven times and then hook up the light to it. See? Run the wire six or seven times around the house? Well, why? Why, oh, to build up the current. You got to understand electricity to know these <laughs> You see, that, that acts as an armature. Oh? Steps up the power. I see. You see, electricity is simply the result of friction. It was invented by two guys from Poland, Naprosky and Lavotny. Oh? Nebraska always says, yes, electricity is friction, and Lavotny always says, no, it ain't. And they became known to science as the positive pole and the negative pole. <laughs> so when the positive impulse connected to a negative armature gets a resistance, it sets up a kilowatt, hence the electrode, you see? No. Well, I'll break it down for you, so see, except here comes the trivia. Hi, the trivia. Hello, Your Honor. Oh, hello, Molly. Hello, McGee. Hey, that's quite a job you've undertaken there. You betcha. I got a six-buck bet with Molly that when I get done with this job, the first person that sees it will say, you got the prettiest decorated house in the whole block. Well, you have enough ungrammatical friends to get pretty good odds on it. <laughs> you care to stay and help, Mr. Mayor? Otherwise, I doubt if he'll be finished by Labor Day. Oh, yeah? I've forgotten more about this stuff than most people ever knew. I wish I could remember some of it. And I suppose a politician like you is too busy for such low-type labor, eh, LaFrieve? Yes, yes, except that I prefer to consider myself a statesman rather than a politician. Mr. Mayor, what is the difference between a statesman and a politician? A statesman is always out to get his country the best deal he can. A politician is always out to get his. <laughs> That's very good, LaFrieve. You hear that, Molly? LaFrieve just made a very neat epigraph. Yes, I heard it. You sure you can't stay and see this uh, demonstration of electrical inefficiency, Mr. Mayor? No, no, I'm afraid not, Molly. I'm on my way over to Westchester. I'm making a speech in favor of John Netcher for dog catcher. Netcher for a dog catcher at Westchester, eh? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Who's he running against, Mr. Mayor? A man named Fletcher, Molly. <laughs> Both Netcher and Catcher running for dog catcher of Westchester? <laughs> no, no, no. No, Netra and Fletcher are running for dog chest of West Catcher. <laughs> I mean, dog Netra of Fletchwester. Oh, <laughs> now, 
Why, you're a little mixed up, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> you told us that Mr. Chester and Mr. Ketcher were running for net catcher or flex netcher. <laughs> I was a dog catcher of net wetcher. You betcha. <laughs> no, no, uh, let me take this slowly, please. Yes, you're back. Fletcher and Netcher are running for dog catcher of Nest Wester. <laughs> I mean, of Wet Snatched It. Nest Stitched It. Look, I oh, said that. Now hold it, Mr. Mayor. Hold it. <laughs> we better get this straightened out before you try to make a speech in favor of anybody. Yeah. Now then, you're going to Westchester, right? That is correct. Two guys are running for dog Fletcher, right? <laughs> no. They're running for dog catcher. In Fletchwester. No, no, no. In West Chester. Oh. Can't you get this straight? It's perfectly simple. Fletcher and Wester are running for dog Chester and West Chester. <laughs> in Chester and dog Chester. West Chester. Oh, flat! <laughs> Two minutes ago, I knew who was running for dog Chester and West Chester. <laughs> Now I'm sorry I ever met you. Merry Christmas and good day. Billy knows the orchestra with a Christmas medley. Colored lights certainly look pretty, dear. You like them, kiddo? Lovely. When are you going to put them up? <laughs> I'm going to start hanging the sockets any minute now. You send me the ladder while I hop down off it, will you? I've got it. Careful now. Oh, Careful yeah, okay. of yourself now. Uh, <coughs> what did I jump on? Well, what would you jump on, dearie? Just a box of light bulbs, that's all. Oh. The only thing you could have jumped on unless you just landed on the bare ground, of course. Oh, so what? I got plenty. Anyhow, look what I'm doing. I got nails drove clean across the front of the house, see, in the shape of letters. Letters to whom? No, no, I mean spelling letters, Molly. All I do now is hang these lights on the nails, turn them on, and presto, the front of our house spells out Merry Christmas in six delicious colors. <laughs> Tricky? That's a wonderful idea, dearie. Yeah, the only thing is I made my letters too big and I started over too far. Uh -huh. Well, is that bad? No, only I couldn't get the whole word Christmas on the front here, the... The T-M-U-S will be around the corner. <laughs> well, that's all right, dearie. Christmas is just around the corner anyway. 
But now, listen, you better hurry because it's getting well, late. Oh, hello, Molly. Hi, pal. Hello, Mr. Wilcox. Hi, Junior. Grab a light bulb and you can help us put in some of these sockets here. Oh, I'd love to, pal, but I've got lighting problems of my own at home this evening. Going to trim a Christmas tree. That's no problem, Mr. Wilcox, if you have the lights. Well, I checked over the lights last night, Molly. Had four strings left from last year, but three of them wouldn't work. Did you finally find one that would work, Junior? Say, I'm glad you mentioned woodwork, pal. Wow! <laughs> of course, you sort of dragged it in by the heels there, pal. But as long as you brought up the subject of woodwork, let me tell you about the greatest discovery in years for protecting your wood floors and linoleum. It's Johnson's new water-repellent glow coat. Oh, of all the... Look, Junior... Oh, now, McGee, it's Christmas week. Let's humor him. Oh, well... And what did you say that uh, that new discovery is, Mr. Wilcox? Tell us about it. Well, if you insist. Don't crowd your luck. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's the new Johnson self-polishing water repellent glow coat. The one self-polishing floor wax that does not show cloudy, milky-looking spots when you wipe up dirt and spill things or mop them up with a damp mop. Yeah, we know, Junior, we know. Hush! Oh. Hush! Yes, sir. That gleaming wax protection that glow coat gives your linoleum stays on and stays bright even after repeated damp mobbings. That means the new water-repellent glow coat will last up to four times longer than before. Isn't that interesting? Why does it last longer, Mr. Oh, Wilcox? don't encourage him, Molly. Don't encourage him. You know why it lasts longer? Because it's water-repellent. I know. Because but... when you mop up the floor, you don't mop the wax off. That's why housewives are flocking to buy the stuff. Not stuff, pal. Huh? We never refer to the new Johnson self-polishing water-repellent glow coat as the stuff. They buy it because they don't have to put it on their floor. What? As often. Oh. <laughs> so it saves them time and dough because it lasts so much longer. And the new water Hey, repellent... hey, 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 look, Waxy. <laughs> yes, pal? Look, I'd love to stay here and hear more about this wonderful new product, but I've got to run. Where, Mr. Wilcox? In my right sock, you oh. see. Got to go home and change. Have a nice Christmas. <laughs> Guns, I wish I had a flashlight to see these lights with. It's darker here than I thought. You have, dearie. Huh? Flashlight? I had a hunch you might take a little longer than you thought, so what did I do? I brought your old Brakeman's lantern out, the oh. one with the green shade. Hello there, daughter. Hello, Johnny. Well, Mr. Old Timer, and hello there, Betty. Hello, you all. <laughs> Excuse me while I keep working, Old Timer. Hold the light here, Molly. Where have you been? Christmas shopping? Help! Been to the post office, Johnny. Guess you got a letter. Yes, I did. It's a letter from my sister, Mrs. McGee. <laughs> She's away at finishing school. Well, at finishing school, your sister? I'll read it to you. It says, Buckley Finishing School. Dear Bessie, I'm finished. <laughs> Love, Essie. <laughs> nice letter. Bessie and Essie, eh? Interesting names. Yes. Bessie and Essie were twins at one time, Johnny. Just for a while, of course. Oh, how can you be twins just for a while? How long were you twins, Bessie? Thirty minutes. Hmm. Then my brother Jesse was born and made us triplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama had such a great sense of humor. She knew all the answers. Oh, yeah. Speaking of answers, kids, me and Bessie had us quite a time this morning. Went to one of them radio quiz shows. Did we, Bessie? <laughs> Oh, gracious, yes. The doctor of ceremony said, Is there a dancer among those present? So I did a dance. Did her bug, Bessie? No, I got up and did I'll tell this, Bessie, I'll tell it. I started it. Oh, oh, T, you are. Oh. <laughs> this is got a habit of hugging all the gab, kids. All she wants for Christmas is her two front teeth kick in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, baby? Oh, you stop teasing me, old team. No. Well, sir, Bessie got up at this quiz show and she done a hula hula dance, but the feller made her stop. Yeah? He says, no cooching from the audience, please. <laughs> <laughs> she made a motion before the house and they voted her down, did they? <laughs> now, did you win anything down there? <laughs> we sure did, Johnny. Yeah? Me and Bessie won us a cocker spaniel and a year's supply of poodle noodles. <laughs> New flea repellent dog biscuit. 
Well, now, isn't that nice? Where's the dog now? Is he with you? No, we took him over to my house and fed him, Mrs. McGee. Yep. Took one bite of them poodle noodles and then a bite of Bessie's leg. <laughs> he was in the living room and he bit me right on the set key. Uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Anyways, he barked, bit Bessie, and bolted. And we ain't seen him since. My gosh. He runs off and leaves you kids with a year's supply of dog biscuits, eh? What are you going to do with them? What are we going to do? Put jelly on them, Johnny. Come on, Bessie. That's how you are. Merry Christmas. Well, go on, Bessie. Well, I hope you're nearly finished, McGee. But it's so dark I can hardly see you up on that ladder. You are on the ladder, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm up here. Hold the brakeman's lantern over here, will you? I'm almost through. And, ah, there's the last bulb in. Well, thank goodness. Now get down off that ladder before you now, break just your... a second, kiddo. I'll be right down. As soon as I turn the juice on by twisting these two little wires together, I got them right here and... Yow! What happened? <laughs> you came down. Also, our lights are out. Also, so are all the lights in the neighborhood except this little brakeman's lantern. And I'm going to hang it up here on the steps so we can see our way through this mess. Are you hurt? No, Katie? but let's get in the house before the neighbors start beeping. My, my. Come on in the living room, dearie. Well, gone it here. We planned the prettiest decorations in the whole neighborhood. And what do we wind up with? Well, a green lantern shining on the front porch. The only light in the whole block and the only... Uh-oh. Now, if that's one of our nosy neighbors snooping around here, trying to find out who blew out his lights, I'll tell him to come in. Hi, mister. Oh, Teeny. <laughs> Hello Hi, there, Teeny. Now, look, if your old man, or if your father sent you over here to beef about his lights being out... Oh, no, mister, no. I just came to tell you, you've got the prettiest decorated house in the whole block. Yeah, but... I... What did you say? Who? You. When? Just now. About what? About we got the prettiest decorated house in the whole block. I know it. It's just peachy, the simplicity of it. When I saw that green lantern shining on the faces of all those carolers out there. Carolers? What carolers, Teeny? I didn't hear any carolers. Well, you didn't, I bet you. They, they haven't started yet. Hey, Jenny and Ratty and Buddy and Johnny, come on in, kids. Oh, oh yeah. Hello, boys. Now, I let you carolers sit down, and you sit over there, Diane. Ready, gentlemen, and a one, and a two, and a three. Oh, 
A bundle in fur from his head to his foot. Old Santa was covered with ashes and soot. I drew in my head, it was turning around. When down the chimney he came with a bow. Mama is a curtsy, and I in my 